what swim run does for me is allows me to like kind of relive like uh, a lot of the things that I experienced when I was younger in endurance sports and then kind of like the things that I see now as an adult doing a lot of weddings in this like couples endurance race. Welcome to the Low Tide Boys, a swim run podcast. I'm Chip. And I'm Chris. And this is episode 96 of the show. It's crazy. I'm just going to let that sit there for a second. Okay. So excited about that. This week, we have the talented swim run photographer, Mark Simmons, on the show. If you've enjoyed some of those amazing photos from the Odyssey Swim Run website over the last few years, then you've likely have seen Mark's work. We had a fun time chatting with him, but more on this later in the show. Absolutely. On to our training update. So this might be our, this is the last training update before race week, which it, is right now. It's here. Well, Odyssey Swim Run it's Austin. It's race week right now. <laughs> Honestly, we're, we're in race week. We're in race week. It's here. <laughs> what day is it? Where are we? So it also means we're also tapering this week. So we had a nice peel off a little bit of intensity, but, yeah. you know, throwing on some sharpening, get some speed in the legs, fire up some some speed in the, in the pool just to make sure everything's working. Had a nice mm-hmm. little little two-hour-ish swim run for ourselves last Saturday. Worked out uh, any remaining kinks to be worked, but we're looking forward to heading to Austin and racing out there. Yeah, I mean, it'll, second be, time. it'll be the second time. The course is pretty similar from the map so yep. it'll it'll kind of be an apples to apples comparison of where we were a year we've not ago. had one of those yeah <laughs> i'm looking forward to it yeah it's gonna be fun now on to this week's shout outs all right so this week we're shouting out marie and katie aka team twisted sisters love that name Great. they reached out recently to tell us that they're racing their first swimmer at odyssey swim run austin this weekend and we're obviously super stoked for them we predict that they're gonna have a blast and that they're not gonna take it Anymore. anymore that was good that's the one pun that we are, was, this is real talk this is you know <laughs> peeling behind the curtain chipper and i spent about five minutes trying to come up with twisted sister song puns but that was we the failed only. now i wonder if their <laughs> hair is twisted sister-esque yeah like one of the the og hair hair metal glam bands twisted Hell sister yeah. anyway on to this week's feats of endurance so this week's award goes to kelsey pearson May sound familiar to you. She is half of Team Cali Swim Run Girls from episode 33, Kelsey and Caroline. And last week, she dropped a spicy two-hour, 58-minute marathon at the Rock and Roll San Diego Marathon. That's a six-minute, 47... It's a six-minute, 47-second per-mile pace if you're keeping score at home. Yeah. Way to be... You rocked and you rolled that one. Yeah. I don't think she she, she wasn't going to take it anymore either. No, she wasn't. Now, if you want to see what Kelsey and 300 plus swim runners are doing on Strava, head on over to Strava Club, search Low Tide Boys, join in the fun, give kudos, receive kudos, all yeah. that good stuff. We'll see you in there. Now for this week in swim run. Not Twisted Sister songs. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the licensing for that. Uh, yeah, we would replace all our music with Twisted Sister music, but we don't want to get like ding. All right, now time for all the news that we could find on the internet. So swim run season is officially winding down, but it's going out with a bang. There's three races taking place this weekend, and we're super stoked about all of them. In the United States, Swim Run NC and Odyssey Swim Run Austin are both taking place on November 7th, and both events are either sold out or pretty close to. Mm -hmm. In Europe, Atala's last race of the season is taking place on the island of Malta. Best luck to U.S. mixed teams, Bronwyn and Greg of the Boston Wet Sox and Mel and Andy of Team California Summer and who are crossing the Atlantic to race the 39K World Series distance. I have some predictions as well. There's some interesting teams on the men's side. You have Hugo Tormento from Team Arc Arc Summer in France. Three races in a row. Yeah. Who's partnering with Adriel Young, reigning men's world champion. So that's going to be really interesting. And as we heard last week, Alexis Chadier, he's going to be racing with um, Victor Victor, Dahl. Victor Dahl, also, you know, reigning uh, 
mixed team world champion. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how those guys race. Championship partner swapping. That's yeah, what's happening it's be at Malta. Cool. It's I can't wait cool. to see what happens And honestly, there. I must say, I actually really love that. I think it's super cool that, hey, everyone's just racing with other people. Like Hugo raced with Max at Con, They won. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's just, I think it's really fun to see a lot of the teams kind of getting mixed up and trying other partners and just going out there to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, in case anyone's wondering at home, Yes, Malta is also on our bucket list. <laughs> I don't think it's a bucket. It's like a 50-gallon drum. No. It's <laughs> like just like an oil, oil drum. drum. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. Be sure to tip us off if there's any news you'd like for us to share on the show. Now on to updates. So if this is your first time here at Low Tide Boys, you may have not heard or noticed, but we we like stickers. And guess what? It's free sticker time again. So... I don't even know. Maybe a month ago, we passed 50,000 total downloads on the podcast, and mm-hmm. we're getting close to our 100th episode, so we're celebrating by giving away two free limited edition commemorative stickers yeah. to show both our immense gratitude for everyone that's tuned in to even one episode, two, or maybe you're listening to multiple. If you want to score some of these free stickers, and this offer is out worldwide, worldwide like Pitbull, yeah. Mr. Worldwide, Go to lowtideboys.com slash stickers. And there's a nice, easy form there, and it makes it easy for us. That way, we're not trying to wrangle everyone on mm-hmm. email and DMs and all this yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah, when we did this before, we were just like, just get a hold of us, and that, that became pretty yeah. unwieldy. That, that was hard to manage. <laughs> that was hard to manage, an omni-channel effort like that. So lowtideboys.com slash stickers for these free stickers. 50,000 download sticker and 100 episode sticker. Yeah, I've seen them. They're cool. Trust me. Now, <laughs> if you're like the Low Tide Boys and you're racing Odyssey Swim Run Austin this weekend, we're hosting a casual Swim Run Shakeout meetup on Saturday, November 6th at 11 a.m. at the Grisham Trail, which is located near the cliff jump for a really chill 3 to 5K swim run cliff jump practice. Mm-hmm. So we're not totally sure where the best place to park is quite yet. Uh, but we'll try to get as close to the cliff as possible and jump in from there and kind of take it from there. Send us a, a DM on Instagram if you're thinking of going so we can pack our snacks. Unfortunately, the team Adorkables will not be leading a FICA after, so yeah. these are the low tie boys running this show. So I don't even know if we can even promise a cliff bar, to be honest with you. Yeah, there'll be we'll, there'll be something. We'll, but, we'll, we'll bring something. Yeah. We'll bring something. From... Uh, a Texas Whole Foods or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most likely from a Texas Whole Foods. So, yeah, something super chill. Come figure out your gear. F- practice jumping off the cliff. Shake out the legs. Swim. Do whatever. Come for all. Come for none. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in Texas. Now for this week's interview with Mark Simmons, swim run photographer. Yeah, international man of mystery. Mm-hmm. It was super fun to chat with Mark about how he got into photography and wound his way into being one of the chief photographers for Odyssey Swim Run. We chatted about his process for scoping out really great shot locations, how he moves along the course without wearing a swim run wetsuit, mm. and a whole lot more. Mark's also a wedding photographer, so he's got that going for him. Uh, and we have a link to his site if in case you need a wedding photographer. Yeah. His pictures are pretty dope. This interview was really was really great fun, and we hope that you'll enjoy it because it's just a, another take on how people view swim run. Yeah, and I think um, that's what I, well, you know, this is our show. I think the fun thing is that yeah. we get, if it has to do with swim run in any sort of stretch of the imagination, yeah. and it's our imaginations. So yeah, sure. Yes, Mark has we, captured the most yeah. suffering I've ever laid out, so we had to see what, what was the yeah. man behind the Yeah, lines. I mean, I think, you know, real talk, We're just following our curiosity on this Mm -hmm. thing, which is what we're told is the way to have a hit podcast, which, (laughs) you know, we're number one in our category of swimmer podcasts, I think. One of one, baby. Um, (laughs) But uh, but yeah, you know, we're we're just trying to tell really cool stories and and things that you might not have uh, thought about. But with that, enjoy an interview with Mark Simmons, swim run photographer. He's not going to take it either. No anymore he's not he will be taking more photos yes at pace bend park <laughs> yes. on the 7th of november <laughs> all right what is today we have a cheeky guest we have 
Mark Simmons, swim run photographer. Yes, that's a thing. Welcome to the show, Mark. Hey guys, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> put that put that on a business card that only five people will understand. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm sure if you've raced any Odyssey events in the last, you know, year or two, you probably don't know Mark by name or maybe even by face, but you've definitely seen his handiwork in the form yeah. of some really bitchin' and very awesome action swim run photographs. Yeah, it's true. So Mark has seen probably everyone in, in the uh in their deepest darkest <laughs> definitely saw you. You saw me <laughs> in my deepest darkest part up on Mount <laughs> Constitution. But um yeah, Mark, why don't you give us a little bit of uh how you got into um photography and action photography or sports or whatever the technical term is you tell us. Oh, for sure. And, and thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, um, so I have a little bit of an endurance sport background. When I was at college at uh, University of Texas at Austin, um, uh, I was, you know, I was trying to get my pr- uh, professional license in triathlon. I don't know. It's just a dream I had when I was in high school and uh, just tried to pursue it in college. Didn't work out, but what it did was get me into photography. I started taking pictures on my like iPhone 5, like of like places I'd ride my bike to in central Texas. And I don't know, I guess people like you give me any kind of encouragement. I just, uh, I go with it. So, uh, people like that. And then I, uh, I graduated and didn't really know what to do. I just, just knew I really liked taking photos of, on my, on my iPhone. Actually, Aaron Pallion, who y'all had on the show and is a race director at Aussie Swim Run. He was my old triathlon coach in high school. And yeah, he was taking more photos at the time. Yeah. And, uh, so he, uh, he, uh, brought me in. Um, he was just, uh, he told me what camera to buy <laughs> and, I, and I did, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, with my first, uh, paycheck out, out of school. But anyway, and he started inviting me out to like local races, like triathlons, marathons. And, and it was cool. He was just like, let's, let's see what we can get. And, uh, he was doing his own thing and I do mine, but it was just, uh, it was a really cool creative exercise and just a cool way to learn photography. Um, cause I didn't have any formal training. I just did sports my whole life, but no one ever really like I sure. uh, wanted me to like have a creative thought. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> would you say? Would you say that uh, Aaron was your Yoda? If you're like Luke Skywalker, oh. was he your Yoda? Was he like he, like showing you the ways <laughs> of the Force? Or is he more Obi Wan and you were Luke? Yeah, but he hasn't. We no, I'm gonna. He's he's more like Yoda. Let's okay. be real. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. I mean, he was. Uh, it's it's hard to it's hard to put in really like words. Kind of the up he gave me. Uh, like a full. I'm a I'm a photographer full time now, and I, I mostly shoot weddings. I did my first weddings with Aaron, and I was able to kind of build my business from like the kind of just a uh, base of knowledge he gave me. It was really cool. Awesome. That's and great. Um, and then yeah, uh, you know I. Uh, I was uh, I was on um, the uh, the team or you know the uh, you know uh, put on put on the races with the swim run folks in uh, 2019 uh, and then um, you know I didn't I didn't do going during the pandemic uh, in 2020 uh, not really because of COVID I was just really focused on going like full time and I just needed to devote like all my resources to being in, in town and uh, yeah. doing what I needed to do sure but anyway and I was really stoked to come on to 2021. Um, and yeah, um, and, uh, it was just more of like, uh, Aaron was like, Hey, I'm putting on swim run. You're going to come photograph type thing it is, you know, I, I couldn't say no. Yeah, so, like, uh, so right. yeah, that's how I got into it. So, that's- so why don't you tell us then, you know, your sort of first impressions of swim run, I'm sure Aaron, and you know, you have the internet, so you know, yeah. you know about this stuff, but like before you came to shoot a race and you're sort of researching how you're going to, you know, capture your subject in action, yeah. like, what was that experience like? It was really cool. Um, I saw swim run is like I mentioned earlier. I was a I'm a wedding photographer. I deal with couples a lot, and it being a couple race, a couple in, endurance oh, race, yeah. yeah, like that's that's you shot me. Chris and I's uh, wedding at Orcas. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean it was uh, it was just kind of like this blending of all, all the things I kind of have been doing. I think swim, what's cool about swim run is it's not about like the individual; it's about the team. It's about relationships. I don't know if you can compare it to like I hate to say it, triathlon, right? It uh, triathlon's so individualistic. It's so for me, like I don't even like photographing it that much. It's it, it's not as interesting to me um, it, because at the end of the day, you're just like putting yourself at a lot of risk, frankly, um, for just kind of like personal uh, aggrandizement. You know what I mean? It's like, 
Uh, but with swim run, we can kind of race for like higher ideals, like of just like community and friendship. And, you know, you like the, like the Dirksons, they're a married couple and it's so cool to watch them race. I love seeing their dynamics play it. out on course. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my draw to it really. Nice. I, I really like that. And <clears throat> I've definitely seen you at races. I remember in Casco, it kind of, uh, the race started uh, uh, right at the pier and you kind of go up a little bit hill and we were we were running out, and you were doing some backpedaling, and I'm like, I don't know if this <laughs> photographer fully gets what he's getting into, but he's got he looks like he's athletic, but he's very. I was assessing it as I was running. I was like, these are risky moves that he's doing. I hope he knows everything. <laughs> I think he's going to be okay. Like, how expensive is that camera? And then now that's I come to find out that's you, and you have an endurance background, and that makes a lot of sense now. How you're yeah, able to kinda, get right in, the, fun to right in the business, the things, y'all. <laughs> yeah, what is your how do you kind of approach a, a swim run race? I guess you can use orcas as an example, or you, you've been at, at over, did, did you go to the ones in Michigan as well? Lennington? Yeah. And, nice. Um, at, you know, I was even at, uh, uh in Boston. Um, uh, oh, yeah. The fateful, uh, uh, yeah, I love that race only. actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's a great um, race to shoot. Well, so like, Main thing is like I want to do a good job for Aaron and the guys, so I uh, I hear what they have to say. Um, you know, you you want to you want to uh, you want to capture the race, you want to sell it. Um, so uh, you know, and that and, and, and to do that well, it requires you know I have to be on the course, I have to check it out, I have to get there a couple days before and um, and spend time being like, how do I want to like you know like make people want to do this like what how can i like show this scenery off how can i show you know people in the best light um so it's it's literally uh you know just uh doing the research of the of the actual course so i, I have a question so yeah. so let's let's say for orcas which is our most huh. recent experience like traumatic how <laughs> like like what what actually went into scoping out the course like obviously you're probably getting input like Brent is probably saying, yeah, this is probably a good spot on Mount Pickett, backside of Mount Pickett. It's probably good on Mount Constitution. Like, go here, go there. You can probably capture most of the folks. Like, but beyond that, did you go out in the course and just, hey, this might be a cool shot looking this way? Well, or, or how did that work? The thing about Orcas is, is there's not really, uh, it's really hard to take a bad shot. It's a very beautiful place. <laughs> True. Yeah. Um, and also just a very hard place to take fo- photos in. It, it's raining the entire time. Like, uh, uh, this year was not dissimilar from 2019. It, it it just it just rained, and that's you know uh, right at that at that point you're really just trying to um, you know do what you can get to the parts of the course uh, you know that make you exposed for the least, least amount of time. Though I haven't gone like course marking or the official course marking with the guys on Orcas, uh, they show me around. And it's and it's a place you want to explore uh, too. So um, uh, like when we get there, we really do spend a lot of time just like hiking around course and figuring out the uh, how we're going to you know move these people through this landscape. And I'm and I'm there for all that, um, uh, helping out the guys. So so yeah, that's that's kind of my preparation uh, preparation. I will say Orcas is kind of a crapshoot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a difficult place it, to close. Yeah, and it's not. It's tough from a logistical standpoint. It's not like you could just drive up. Like I, I would think Swim Run Austin's probably one of the easier ones. You could drive sure. up, park Austin, on the side of the yeah. road, run up to the trail, yeah. take a picture. Mm-hmm. Not to oversimp. Sorry, really. No, but, you know, but you're not doing your, it's too incorrect. Right? There's no ferries to get onto Pace Bend, right? It's, yeah, uh, right. just uh, drive your car there. <laughs> one thing I really like about the photos that you're that you capture is you know everyone's done kind of the road race or the half marathon or whatever. And it's like you run by the person they're sitting there in their, their camp chair and they got a monopod and they're just going click, click, click yeah. as everyone runs by. Cause your bibs there smile, that kind of thing. Yeah. The photos that you take are, they don't even have to do with the person. It's kind of like capturing like a great transition or someone helping their partner come up out of the out of a transition and, and grabbing that or the tether or a really cool swim thing is that how do you or somebody suffering or someone really in a really yeah. deep hellacious <laughs> hole of pit of pit of bonk where mm-hmm. how do you how do you kind of think about capturing those moments so yeah um one thing i found really inspiring to me before i like started swim run was something Jackie Chan said in a YouTube video on how he captures uh, uh, martial arts on film. And it's just simple. It's just like uh, up close and wide angle. 
Um, so, uh, and so that's what I try to do is just get really close to people with the, you know, the 35 millimeter lens and, and, and that, and that's how you can reveal all those things. I don't think a zoom lens on a tripod can really, you know, kind of, uh, sell it. Right. Like if, like, uh, I think I caught a photo of one of y'all going up, uh, orcas. Um, uh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh, okay cool <laughs> yeah it was fitting it was in black and white yeah you were like yeah that one should yeah. be black and white the thing is is like uh, if i took that with the zoom lens you wouldn't have the forest in the background to really kind of sell the uh just toughness of the race right and you wouldn't look kind of like smaller in the landscape and anyways all these things um uh that lend to kind of like my style and how i want to show swim run i think you have to get close to it to really um because again it's it's a new sport to a lot of people and a lot of what i do is educational mm-hmm. i think um, so, uh, so yeah, the, the, the way I approach that is, uh, like Jackie Chan said, just, you know, up close and, uh, and with, uh, with the good wide angle lens. Yeah. That's, I mean, he would know. So uh, you know. He, he's done it, too. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it's working out for you, which is great. Yeah. I mean, I, I, how about, how about logistics for a race like Casco? Did you have like a boat assigned to you and a driver uh, or how'd that uh, work? Several. So it's a, Casco is a, uh, just a mammoth race of logistics. It's awesome. With that, um, you know, I have a rough outline of who's going to take me where. And uh, it's mostly stayed true. Uh, near the end of the race, things get a little bit hairy or I go like, nah, I'm going to do this. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's several boats and, and, and several drop off points at Casco. That, play, that, that race is so big. Yeah. It's a lot of fun too. Yeah, it looks like fun. You should, you should. Uh, have, have you? Have you? You got to get run? out here. You got to do one. Uh, I've not done a swim run. I, uh, I I keep saying one of these days I'll follow because uh, uh, I think Lars at every single one of the races he does it, and it's like so low key. He, uh, it's like I don't know, like it might even be in like an afternoon. He just finds some. He just finds like a three hour block of time, puts on his wetsuit, goes out and just does the course. It's wild. And I, I hope to one day join him on that. I think that'd be sick. Yeah, I mean, make sure probably, he pulls you on the swims, though. Yeah, make sure yeah, yeah, no, no. It's just, I, I'm, I might cut the swims. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just going to check good. out a, a shot spot up here yeah. while you do the 1600 yard swim. Location yeah. scouting <laughs> over here. Yeah. Yeah, Lars is, Lars is kind of a freight train. It's easy. He's hard to hold on to for sure. I mean, it's athletic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do weddings. Are you. You, it's kind of really interesting to me. It's two separate sides of the coin. You kind of have the wedding, which is, you know, there is action happening, but it's not like a sports action thing. So, so tell me a little bit. They're they're two different two different sides. It sounds like you make the most of your 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 living from from the wedding side, and and the sports mm-hmm. is for fun. Or do you wish you could make your living from the sports side? Or I I do really love weddings. I think that it's a cool place to be a photographer because your photos like matter to people and that's like yeah. sick i don't know it keeps me going right um and and the pay is great can't can't uh but but yeah i know what uh sports does it um gives me a creative break because you're right there is that you know a big difference between the two at least in the contrast of like you know uh uh the outward perception of each like what swim run does for me is allows me to like kind of relive like uh a lot of the things that i experienced when i was younger in endurance sports and then kind of like the things that i see now as an adult doing a lot of weddings in this like couples endurance race so yeah like they're they're different but to me they kind of all blend together into like kind of how i see or what i want to photograph right it's uh i'm really lucky i I do really photograph the two things i want to do or like want to want to photograph nice that's that's always good you know they What's the uh, old adage is like, if, you, if you're doing something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, so, it, uh, something like uh, that. it terrified me out of school. I'd do something I wouldn't like. And it's, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm stoked every day that I get to do something that I, you know, I actually do like. <laughs> yeah, love you it. know, love I mean, it. that's, uh, I give that advice to people all the time. You know, you literally don't have to do something you don't like. No, I don't think in school they give you enough options. Like yeah. uh, they kind of pigeonhole you to things, and they don't—they don't really, uh, or at least in my experience, they never broaden my horizons to just all the types of jobs there are out there. Um, and a lot of them are pretty accessible. I got it. I—I I was able to do what I do because I chased um, a very established uh, old money wedding photographer into an elevator uh, in 2017. Um, and he gave me an, and he gave me an opportunity. He taught me everything I knew. And anyway, it's, you know, nice. it's, uh, opportunities there. You just have to seize it. 
Yeah. Yeah, I like I like that. So you touched on it a little bit. I think swim run, as you said, you you mentioned the words. It's more sometimes an educational experience, which is very true. <laughs> and we've interviewed yeah. uh, the Atala videographer Rasmus mm-hmm. Ladonius before, uh, and we love the work that he's doing on on the Otala videos. And your photographs are great. How do you feel about some people's first touch point to swim run is your your medium? I mean, that's really cool. And I keep that in the back of my head because no offense, like it looks dorky. It looks a little goofy. I mean, like you're carrying <laughs> I mean, all these paddles and swim boys. You're tethered. Personally, I'm very pro tether. I think it's very, that's very cool. The photographs look insanely well. I love it. But anyway, <laughs> we'll keep it. Um, we'll keep doing it. it. Uh, uh, it's just, um, it looks silly. And um, I try to make it look badass. Uh, and I hope you don't feel that it looks silly from my photos, but if they do, they do. Um, and I think that's the trick. Like I want, uh, I want people to do this sport. I think it's, you know, uh, safe and it, um, uh, kind of like you can gain something other than, you know, just going through a course or doing something hard. The fact that you can do it with somebody else is just so cool. I don't know. Some of my best friends are my running partners and it's like when you are able to like go on an adventure with somebody and complete it. Um, and some of my best memories are like riding bikes with my like friends in college. Like, you know, like that's the, that's the cool part. And I mean, like you get the, and I'm sure a lot of people listening, you know, train in large groups of people, um, and uh, their, their clubs or whatever. And anyway, and, uh, have it be a couple's race and have you to bring those things that keep you there, right. Into the actual sport is just so special. It's a cool sport. Yeah. Well, you know, it's definitely dorky. I mean, ask, <laughs> ask any swim runner who is practicing in an environment that isn't full of swim runners, which is pretty much every environment, unless you're like <laughs> yeah. in or south of France or something like that. It's like, I mean, you get all you get all the looks. I mean, I almost to the point Chipper and I like Chipper will engage with people like, what are you guys doing? I'm usually just head down like I just I can't have that conversation again. Well, it's we happens multiple times every time. We yeah, go. or just like we're just running by and people are just looking at us like you know, like we just. I mean, I don't know what they think. But well, the the guy this weekend was was he running? He was. Yeah, running. he was on a run, and we were we were on a run. We just, had just finished a swim, and he goes, "Oh, well, you you just uh, you're going to skip the bike this time." I'm like, "No, we're doing a swim run." Uh, He's like, "Oh, cool." It's like, what's that? It's He's like, like what's that? No, it's actually run. a swim and then a run. And then yeah. as we're going up a hill, huffing and puffing, I'm trying to explain it to him, and you know, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. But yeah, but yeah. I I do think that yeah, it, it's great because it's true. It is dorky and in practice and sort of outside of a swim run race setting, it does look pretty weird. But through through your lens, like through photography, like during a race, you're like, oh man, this person's a freaking warrior, you know? And I think that, uh, yeah, I, I think echoing kind of what Chipper said, like the the use of the backgrounds and the use of sort of the nature that surrounds it totally makes you look badass in a race. Yeah, and it totally plays into the the ethos, if you will, of swim run about you know being one with nature and moving fluid through nature. And your, I think your work totally captures that. Thank you. Well, one thing I always try to catch too, and I guess like um, uh, what makes it cool or can kind of kind of turn the tide and make it look cool is making you look prepared as you like go in into oh. like the transitions into the water. Like I love to catch when people are like putting on a paddle. It's a lot of fidgeting. Um, yeah. but, uh, uh, but it's like, you're checking your things before you like embark on another, you know, leg of your adventure. So anyway, I, uh, um, I try to make people look prepared uh, through all that awkward fiddling. It's, it's much appreciated because it's one thing you're good. You're not a videographer. Cause that fidgeting yeah. Yeah. that last 35 seconds that you're just like, Oh, the stupid paddle won't come on. And you just, <laughs> you, ca- you capture it and you're like, Oh wow, look how cool I look yeah. fumbling with my paddle. <laughs> Like, are you ready? Uh, just, just a second. Uh, are you ready? Uh, I just, just one more minute. I'm having, uh, yeah, Kevin. That, yeah. That's, uh, that's every person's experience in a swimmer, and I think. Um, now, I'm really curious. So you've, you've shot all these races. Has, has there been like a scene at a race that was particularly memorable because it was either ridiculous or funny or epic? Yeah. No, this is at Mackinac this year, which. I will say, um, Mackinac is a great race. If no one, if that's not on anyone's radar, like out of the series, like you have 
you know, uh, 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 Orcas and you have Casco Bay, which are all, you know, beautiful in their own ways, but like hard. Mackinac is a, is a good time. It is a beautiful island. Uh, uh, the trails are really nice. Uh, there's some hard bits. There's, you know, it's definitely a hard race, but like um, if you do either of those races, do Mackinac too, I think. It, it, it's, it's just a good time anyway. But yeah, at Mackinac this year, um, a man broke his hip. And, oh yeah, uh, yeah, we met him. His, yeah, and was stoked, was happy. Like this man's hip is broken, and mm-hmm. he is coming towards the finish line, not on his own, being held up by his partner and another racer. Yeah, everyone looks stoked. It's, again, you know, injured man, and uh, 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 a cross, and everyone's happy. He's happy. I mean, it, it was a great scene. It was like you know, like um you know camaraderie uh yeah. sportsmanship um and yeah i just i don't think we've had a major injury like that while i've been there and not go so well i don't know that was that was wild to me <laughs> yeah that was pretty that yeah, was something and uh that i'm forgetting his name but he was uh he was at orcas and he was just hanging out in his crutches just like wanted you know he's, yeah. he's supposed to oh, race God, I missed that. Had, had the ticket and everything so he just came out to support his partner mm-hmm cool Again, that's 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 that seems like very swim run. I love that. Yeah, it it's very that's very run. swim run. Totally. <laughs> what? Uh, so you've you've done them all. So how long have you have you been working with Odyssey? Um, uh, just on just on 2019. Um, okay. uh, I think Aaron photographed them for a little bit. Um, and that's the thing. Like, I needed a year to really know what I was doing. Like, it's a it's there's it's, it's a new sport, and it's not like a marathon or other types of sports within that genre where you pay and do a large X amount of exercise. Um, uh, (laughs) So, you know, you have to kind of like, I had to figure out what I wanted to do and and that took time. So um, I feel like this year I really hit my stride. I'm excited for next year. I have a lot of ideas. Oh, I love it. Is this uh, this a top secret or uh, can you, can you give us a little, little bit of a teaser, these ideas of yours? Um, yeah, yeah. I can give you a little teaser. I'm, uh, in 2019 and a little bit this year, uh, I have this wild, you know, uh, a dream. To, I, nothing's cooler than looking through like an old sports illustrated, the like sport photos that, that were like on film, you know, it's, they're just one of a kind cause they're incredibly hard to capture. Yeah. And, um, and, and now it's that you don't see that, you know, no, I mean, in my sphere of things, weddings, like you see film all the time, it's very trendy. I, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, it, and it works really well for that, but you don't see that in sports and swim run, I think is a perfect opportunity for it. And, um, and so there's just certain things or certain types of cameras or certain types of film, um, that I now know, like exactly the application I want to use them in and exactly where and uh, nice. um, just have a lot more of a knowledge base for me to execute on something I've been kind of working on through past years uh, or these past couple of years. So yeah, so yeah just uh, a new way to kind of shoot this sport in kind of an old way. <laughs> that makes sense. Cool. I love it. I I'm, love it. I'm looking forward to that. Let me, let me ask you uh, one last question before, before we sure. let you go here. Uh, what has been your favorite uh, location in a race, I guess Odyssey race, to shoot? Was it people jumping off cliffs and stuff? Or is there some other location where you're like, I'm just totally loving the images I'm getting from from this spot? Mm. Yeah, um, that's a good question. Yeah, I have to say the ma- the backside of Mount Constitution on uh, the rainy days we have been there is just a really cool place. Like, uh you're, it's the highest point in that archipelago. And when you're there in inclement weather, weather it feels like you shouldn't be there. Yeah. And to have this race go through all the mist and, uh, and then through all these massive old growth for, forests. And, uh, and again, every time, except, except, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think it was, yeah, Chris, everyone's pretty stoked. Like everyone's feeling like the stoked with going up that, uh, going up Mount Constitution. Cause it is just so like awesome. Uh, I, I haven't really been in many scenes like that. And so, yeah, I, I would say that's my, that's my favorite location to photograph in the series for sure. Cool. Uh, oh, we'll remember that. Nice. Yeah. We have, we have a rule when we swim run that I always remind Chipper to smile, but I think even in this one. Yeah, Mark, maybe like, you can help, help us with this. So here's my problem <laughs> is that I have a really, it's, up until honestly, up until the picture that you got, uh, two pictures. I have two pictures from Orcas that I'm very happy with race photographs. Yeah, glad, glad I have it. done. I don't know how many races have I done, Chris. 
a lot. Let's just say fifty to just throw a number out there. Probably more than that. That's conservative. I didn't mean to. This is not a. Are you are you session. counting? Are you counting the turkey trots? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I've never came away with a, a race photograph. I'm happy with. So Chris has been trying to say whenever he sees a camera, chip or smile, because my my previous uh, strategy was to not smile and just look that I'm just carry on, get act mm-hmm. natural yeah. kind of thing. Well, my act natural look isn't the best look, apparently. It's like, it's like it's bitter a, beer face. Yeah, it's a really weird face. So what do I need to do to like present better to the camera? Uh, I feel like I just had this conversation with a bride this week. <laughs> <laughs> better one. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think good photos of yourself or like what makes people stoked on a photo of themselves is that they look cool. And how do you look cool? You're relaxed. And you're also, and I think in sports, your form is correct. So look yeah. relaxed, have some sick form, and it'll be a great photo. I love it. Wow. That's uh, I was just overthinking it, really. That's <laughs> what wow. it was. And I will you got uh you were you were perched somewhere. I didn't even see you, so kudos. You must have had like some water ghillie suit on, like some Navy SEAL <laughs> situation going on at the exit of swim one in the cold water, and I have a me and uh, Beak from the team Envol Baywatch were right there and we both were coming out of the water and I was yeah. really happy with how that photo I will turned say, out. I didn't happy, even notice. I will say I was that's on the ground, uh, then, yeah. You're on the ground. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because there's an incline off that boat ramp. So uh, to get the angle, yeah, I was, I was on the ground. Well, there that was go. an awesome photo. It's a great angle. Okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, I will say that I think that's the best race photo of yours that I've ever. Okay, so my next race, I have to either not see them at all, see camera people at all, just be relaxed, or and just have be good relaxed form and have all the time. Relax natural in yourself, yeah. okay. and again, make sure that form's on point. Because honestly, go. I don't think I want to be having to get bonky on Mount Constitution for a good race photo every year. I can't. Yeah, I don't know if I have that in me. Yeah, let's not. We let's don't, not. Chris say doesn't we want to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark, we really appreciate you taking the time and and just telling us a little bit about yourself and about uh, sure. you know this is the first swim run photographer we've had on. Yeah, where so where can people cool. find you if they're in the Texas area and they want their wedding? photographed yeah, or um, my instagram is just uh mark l simmons uh for my wedding stuff and then uh for the sports stuff it's sporter um with three r's in the middle because i can't stand numbers in a username but anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so they're one and the same if yeah you, if you've been getting confused yeah so that is cool we'll be sure to link all that to in the show notes there and then obviously if you forget this you can hit up odyssey and they'll yeah, or, the hit right us direction, up. or hit us up and we'll yeah. be like yo that's mark yeah we know that <laughs> i appreciate it, guys and again thank y'all so much for having me i had a blast yeah it's yeah great. mark well we will we'll see you out there at austin then yep for sure yeah. i'll uh, i'll be there um so, i have a wedding the night before but uh i'm definitely take a red eyed uh i've done it a hundred times before but I'll take a red night <laughs> uh drive up to austin and probably sleep in my car but i will be there <laughs> okay <laughs> well we'll so see just you. remember good form and uh, stay relaxed out there okay you know? exactly exactly <laughs> who's anyway, they'll take care all right thanks mark really <laughs> appreciate it, man have a good one you too Bye. cheers Thank you for listening to the Low Tide Boys, a swim run podcast. Make sure to subscribe wherever you listen to your podcast and leave a review on iTunes if you're so inclined. You can also sign up for a newsletter at lowtideboys.com. That's boys with a Z. And check out our meme page at the Low Tide Boys on Instagram. If you have any questions or suggestions for the show, drop us an email at lowtideboys at gmail.com. We'd like to thank Writing Easy Records for our show music and, of course, our wives for their support and tolerance of our swim run activities, hobbies, and other bullshit we do. (laughs) Finally, (laughs) you can support our efforts on Patreon. Until next time, get out there and go for a swim. And then a run. And then another swim. Then another run. And then another swim. And then run to the finish line. And just keep going until you're done. Yes. Until you cross the finish line. Or run to the car. Or run to your car. Somewhere. Just keep running. Peace.